Howdy everybody. So this is gonna be a really interesting video. For me, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. So I wanna go and take a quick minute and explain what it takes to keep this vlog running and what kind of equipment, what kind of cameras I use. And then at the end of the video, I've got a very special announcement I am super, super excited about. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, to start off, so I have to, I cannot start this video without thanking uh, the Lord for his incredible blessings in supplying uh, the opportunities and the ability for me to be able to produce these videos and my patrons, my donors, my sponsors, and my parents. My parents have, I have the most incredible parents who have helped me, guide me, support me along this whole way of getting my pilot's license and starting this vlog, uh, getting my plane. So thank you so much for that, mommy and daddy. And then to my patrons and donors, you guys are truly what are making the camera and the equipment and funding part possible. I, if it wasn't for you guys, I mean, I would still be stuck with just this little meager, well, I mean, man, I even bought... I really would not have much of any of this stuff. The only thing I had before before I started this vlog was just a little $30 action camera. So it's truly all thanks to you guys um, and the Lord for uh, your incredible blessings and generous support. Uh, if you guys want, if you are not a don donor or a sponsor and you want to become one and get early access and early updates to videos like these or um, posts like uh, announcements and stuff like that, go ahead and check out the link below um, and become a patron and help make this vlog better. All right, so to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and start with, uh, you know what? I'm going to start with the drone. It's kind of right here. So my drone is, this is the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, I said DJI, I meant DJI. The DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, this is a uh, very, very capable drone. I was uh, blessed to get an amazing deal on it used along with all the accessories. This, this over here is the screen for it. The DJI Crystal Sky 7.8 inch ultra bright. This is a incredibly bright monitor. And then, yeah, so there's that. Just a case for the drone and the drone controller, drone charger, drone batteries, all that kind of stuff are in there. I uh, just got a case for the Crystal Sky, same thing. That's actually a, a uh, repurposed gun case. There's no case that you can buy for this that actually houses the charger and the two batteries and all this kind of stuff. Every, every, everything else just comes with just the Crystal Sky. So uh, I re repurposed the old gun case that my dad gave me. So thank you for giving me that, Daddy. Then, um, moving right along here, I've got the action camera accessories. I actually just got this um, set here. This is the 8-man A70 camera set, along with the camera itself, of course. I just got this set um, in last night, and I'm already going to start off with the fact that I'm blown away. It's only I got this on an Amazon Lightning deal for only $28. I believe the current sale price right now is like $35. I will have a link in the description to everything here, everything. And, uh, it, and actually, if you guys want some of this stuff, you can check out those links in the description. And when you purchase, uh, if you purchase some of those items, then you'll, a small amount will get donated to my fund. So by, so by purchasing some of this stuff, you're actually um, helping support this channel. So yeah, so I was super, super impressed. I mean, for $28, it came with a carrying case, everything you see in here, the waterproof case, skeleton case, uh, yeah, all of these little mounts and uh, including this little screw thread mount that was extremely handy. I uh, already had one of these, but when we went when I went flying with John Clinker, unfortunately I left mine in his plane, so uh, he, John now has one of those mounts too. Those are extremely handy. Very few uh, action camera kits come with those. Came with uh, two batteries. There's already one battery in the camera. And of course the camera itself. Now this is a, this was an absolute steal of a deal. This camera is, oh, I'm already gonna say, I'm, my mind is blown. It only cost 28 bucks. I do have a screen protector on it right now. It actually came with the screen protector. I was leaving it on there. But it is full 1080p. The screen is huge on the thing. And it's, yeah, as you can see, it's a very, very wide angle lens. So, um, yeah, and it's got the Wi-Fi on there. Let me go ahead and initiate that real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use my Crystal Sky here real quick, just to hook up to that. Camera is connecting, and then boom, it just hooks right up. So you, you just use the Final Cam app, and then yeah, you can see, and then boom, it's hooked up, and you can see yourselves. 
say hello. <laughs> and yeah, there's me. It's pretty cool. It works really, really well. So I'm very impressed. That's going to be helpful because I'll be able to um, set this up on the uh, on the wing of the plane. Is my plan is to be able to my plan is to be able to put this like on the wing of the plane, and then I can actually um, start and stop recording from inside the plane when I'm flying. So that's going to be uh, really neat. Uh, that covers just about all that. Over here I've just got, uh, this is just a bag full of just a ton of, you know, various accessories and mounts. And, uh, man, 8-Man, I, I have to say, I am not sponsored by 8-Man. I'm not sponsored at all for this video to, uh, this is not an advertisement. But I have to say, if you're going to go with a cheap action camera, go with 8-Man. 8-Man has been, they, I have had nothing but, uh, uh, excellent customer support and uh, excellent products come from them for extremely cheap prices. Uh, about a year ago, actually a little bit more than a year ago now, I bought the 8-man A66 camera, and it came. It was the same same deal. It was uh, forty dollars, I think, actually back then. But it, it came with a ton of accessories. Uh, it did not come with this case, unfortunately. Uh, it did not come with this case back then. And uh, this is just this is just the same thing as this, just bigger. I've, it's kind of a mess right now, so I'll leave it closed. <laughs> It'll probably everything will probably fall out everywhere. And for a microphone, I uh, not exactly I don't remember exactly what the brand is for this microphone. I just got this in yesterday. I finally have a lapel mic, so uh, the audio actually sounds half decent for you guys. I will note that if you do, I mean personally, well, this microphone was a really good price. Unfortunately, I don't think I would buy it again just because of the fact that it does, unfortunately, induce a small amount of buzz. Like, I'm going to be quiet real quick here. And you can hear a small amount of buzz. Plus, when you actually touch the microphone itself, let me get the microphone here. When you touch it, it gets this really loud, really, really annoying buzzing sound. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Maoano. I, I, it's Maoano or whatever, how you say that. Uh, I'm going to keep using it, but uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it again, I don't think. So, yeah, so that basically concludes it for uh, filming equipment. Of course, uh, you guys just seen yourselves there. I'm just using a, uh, uh, sorry, I'm using a 2009 Canon Vixia HF21 that shoots at an amazing 1080p at 30 frames per second maximum. So it's, uh, it, that, that camera is, uh, it's, I'm de it's definitely due for an upgrade, but it does pretty good. Um, I did get, uh, I did get a upgraded selfie stick to use with it. This, uh, for the mo for the last uh, while now, I've been using this selfie stick. Is this was eleven dollars? It was the cheapest selfie stick I actually found on Amazon. Well worth the money. It was eleven bucks and absolutely worth every last penny I spent on it. So I'm going to show you real quick here. Let me get out my other selfie stick. Okay, where is it? Ah, here you go. All right, so I'm going to, this is kind of a cheap selfie stick here. Yeah, I should mention that inside this case here, this is where I keep like my head mount, my chest mount, just kind of random bits and bobs for the action cameras. And these eight band cameras, they come with so many accessories, it's fantastic. So this is the selfie stick I've been using for the last year or so. And it's a pain in the rear end, let me tell you. Super, super annoying. The main re the reason being is that, is if you notice, the shaft is perfectly smooth all the way around. So it doesn't take hardly any effort at all just to rotate the shaft. So let's say you've got a camera attached to it, and it doesn't really do it so much with the action cameras because the action cameras are extremely light. They weigh about 48 grams a piece inside this little skeleton case here. They're extremely, extremely light. But inside, say you've got a camera in here, it mostly does it with this camcorder that I'm filming this on now. But if it gets off-centered at all, it'll just go and flop over. And you guys may have seen that in a couple videos. It looked kind of artistic in the video where I brought the kitbox to Van Horn, but that was literally just because the camera kept flopping over, which is extremely annoying. But this new case, this new selfie stick I got here, this is, uh, I'll have this the link to this one in the description too for sure, but this is, um, this one actually has grooves down it, if you can see there, on both sides. So the grooves keep it from rotating, and it is a significantly heavier duty selfie stick. It's got this nice gimbal ball on the top that you can uh, undo this little screw here, and it loosens up, and then you can kind of just flop it around. 
and then you can tighten it back up again. It does have a metal screw, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's a, I mean, this is a beefy stick. It's great. And then it's got this nice little tripod that folds out on the bottom. It will, this tripod unfortunately won't work, of course, if you're on like a extremely uneven dirt or something like that. But even if it is like slightly crooked, you can always just yank, the, you can always kind of move this little ball around and you can fix that really easily. So yeah, I am very, very impressed with this. This was only like $11.99, I think, but I will have the link to this in the description for sure. It did also come with a uh, little Bluetooth remote and a camera, a phone holder, but since I don't use a cell phone, I use a smartwatch. I don't have any use for that. So yeah. So that concludes that. Now, I got a question from one of my patrons, Marshall Stanford. Marshall is an awesome guy and one of my patrons, and he asked the question, how do I get the cockpit audio in my flying videos? So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to grab the camera here, and I'm going to go take you over to the other side of the table, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is a fairly simple setup. Uh, really nothing too special about it. The main component being, so here's, uh, here's the headset, obviously, that I wear, and then... Uh, this here is a quarter inch audio splitter. Don't bother going and buying a uh, aviation headset splitter because those are extremely overpriced. I think this was like five bucks and it's, I mean, this is a beefy, beefy uh, cord here. And this is just a quarter inch audio plug. And then this right here is a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter or a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter. That just plugs into this little audio cable here. And then that audio cable comes around and plugs into the action camera itself here. All right, so you may have noticed that when I showed you this camera, that there is no external audio jack on it. And uh, I really don't blame Ape Man for not having an external audio jack. I mean, not even the GoPros have an external audio jack. So uh, what I did do though, is this here camera, I modified it. So it has an external audio jack. <laughs> yeah, that probably spooked you for a second there, but I took the front cover off. I uh, disassembled this. Uh, Marshall shows how much I value as a patron buddy. I actually had to disassemble my camera and unscrew like five screws to get this back open again to show you. But I wanted to show you, so as you might be able to see in there, there's the little red and little black wires. Those go down and I unsoldered. I had to take out, I didn't take the whole camera apart again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not, I'm not fully sure if I could get the camera back together again because I've hot glued a bunch of this together. All right, so what I did is right down in there, there's the uh, where the original microphone was soldered on, and there's these two a red black wire that I have coming out of there, and they go to this uh, tip ring sleeve stereo switching um, headphone jack, and that's just their standard 3.5 millimeter eighth inch headphone jack and uh, I have the link to this in the description too and so it's kind of hard to see here but I had to solder this microphone jack to the uh, ring and the sleeve. Uh, I'll, I'll have a diagram right I'll just pop a diagram right now just so you can see where I wired it to but you may be able to see in there I'm not sure how well you guys can see but there is another spare terminal right there I'm pointing at you may be able to see that I am pointing at that spare terminal and a spare terminal right here. If you want to still use, because I do not have a microphone in here anymore. If I want audio from this camera, I have to plug in either a non-boosted, it has, it can't be boosted because if it's boosted, it'll just be insanely loud and you'll, the audio will be junk. So a non-boosted, just uh, this one's like meant for, this is like a lapel mic meant for like a smartphone. Just plug that in there. That, that or, I've got to actually plug it into the plane itself, which is where I get the audio from. And the nice thing about this is that the audio is pre-synced and this little adapter here, this little adapter only cost me like, I think it was two or three dollars. So yeah, just so if you wanna, but if you wanna add your own microphone, if you're feeling kind of adventurous, I'm not very good at soldering, so uh, yeah, I'll do, I do what I can, but there's a little bit of space left in there if you could find a small electric microphone because the microphone that was the microphone that, that came out of this thing it was tiny I mean it was I mean it, it would have fit, fit in a little area like this it I mean there's three little holes right there and those three little holes are all that was meant for the audio to come through for the microphone so yeah 
So if you want to solder, if you want to add your own microphone, you would solder it to this terminal and this terminal. I originally would plan to do that, but I decided not to. It was just a lot of extra work, uh, and this camera was super cheap, so I uh, decided not to. Uh, so yeah, I think that basically concludes it for my camera gear setup. And now, some of you guys may know, my birthday was, uh, my 18th birthday happened on April 16th, which is like two weeks ago now. And uh, Bubba Munch and his wife came down. Uh, they just picked up a Kip Fox 4 in Phoenix. And they were, they were, they were, they were, they're such nice people. Bubba, it was great to meet you and your wife. Uh, man, it, thank you, thank you guys so much for coming down. They are an awesome couple who uh, supported my dream, took me out to lunch for my birthday, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. And I know you guys asked on the last video for an update on Kip Fox 1000, so here it is. Basically, I have been incredibly busy for the last couple of weeks, and so I haven't actually got to go out to the hangar since the last video. But Kip Fox 1000 is still sitting in the hangar. I unfortunately still haven't got to do a ton of work on her yet, but, I am happy to say that I got a compass. Um, Al Beatty gave me a compass for Kip Fox 1000. Thank you so much, Al, for uh, that incredible donation there. Uh, the compass is the only um, instrument that's been missing from Kip Fox 1000. I've had every other instrument, but a compass is the only thing I need currently. And uh, Al donated to that. Donated that. So thank you so much, Al. And so now for the announcement you have all been waiting for. Get ready. So this Thursday. Me and my dad are heading down to Junction, Texas for the weekend and I am going to go flying in a Kit Fox Model 4 the whole weekend with Levi Nogus and Lord willing, I'm going to get to solo in a Kit Fox this weekend. So I am like super pumped, so excited. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get a notification as soon as I upload that video. But until next time, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.